What's up everyone, my name is Nagark and welcome back to Halcyon 6. I got a new commander last time and it kind of just said whatever, do whatever you want. So, um, if I remember correctly, I can come here. I thought I could make another ship. Oh, ship construction. So, I can sort of look at something like this, which has portal cannon. Yeah, this is... I really actually want that. So I want to build that. And that's going to take three days to build. So let's see if I can wait that out. Without this mission getting cranky with me. Or any of these missions getting cranky with me. What is this? Sunfleet? It can wait. It can wait till I have a ship. And... The new Acolyte class starship is now ready for active duty. All it needs now is a commanding officer, blah, 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 blah. Science. Yes. So, Mr. Science got his science ship. And, um... If I come out here... I believe I just have to go over here. Asteroid fields are the most are a potential supply of materials, which having more materials will be nice. These can either be mined with an asteroid mine facility or with an engineering starship. Uh, that's going to take 20 fuel. I, that's all the fuel that I have. That's a lot of fuel, okay. It wants me to build an officer lounge, promote a third officer, and build a... Uh, okay, so let's, let's look. Starbase... Um, we want to, well first off, tech research, right? They want me to get an officer's lounge. We need 500 material and 300 dark matter for that. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Hunt down pirate fleets. Destroy one fleet loyal to Admiral Zeb, Admirax Zeb. Two fleets, uh, three free fleets. Okay. So basically, it wants us to go here. So we're just gonna go over there. Send fleet. Send new fleet. With you and you. Oh, you didn't get repaired. Interesting. Launch fleet. Your ships are not fully repaired. You want to repair them before launching? Launch anyways. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal, alright? To be entirely honest. Commander Carbon allows Flea to make contact with a materials mine at Chrysorium. Cry, 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 Patching you through now. Thank god you came. We wouldn't have been able to last much longer without Federation support. Those things are everywhere and our navy is almost completely destroyed. What a disaster. To tell you the truth, the giant station of yours sounds mighty compelling to me and my men. But if you think you can protect us from these aliens, we'll pledge to stay here as long as you need the materials. It's up to you, Commander. Um, I'm going to transfer the materials. I think I can keep them safe. Leave the system. I think I can keep these guys safe. Now, um... It wants me to go all the way out there. I don't have the fleet. I don't have the fuel. I have to go here. Oh, um... Return home. Yeah. So we're home. We got the 32 materials. Now, send fleet. Both of you guys. Launch fleet. Launch anyways. Transfer 21 fuel. Thank you. Leave the system. Yeah, I think I can keep these guys safe long enough. Now, pirate officer. What happens if I return home? Okay. Now, how, remind me how I repair my ship. I think I just have to spend that. Okay, so we're just gonna fight this nerd. We're gonna take both of these and launch the fleet. 
Oh, affinity bonus. Corbain Lao, Dazing Command 10, new affinity bonus, Pirate Hater, damage bonus versus pirates, 3%. Okay, cool. Continue. Space Pirates, independent bands of space pirates hold little to no sway in Federation space, but Halcyon Sector is teaming with them. Time to end that. Oh, he evaded it. Nice. Really quick. Um, ah, there's no menu. Okay. Hull Breach. Sensors Offline. So we're going to try to hit them with Sensors Offline. So Sensors are Offline. His aim is lowered by 30%. And they both took a little bit of damage, right? So decreased aim. This exploits Sensors Offline. So it does extra damage. Wow, he is fast. That's pretty accurate for Spray and Pray. Um, I can cauterize the single ally. I don't need to do that right now. This is on cooldown. And this is a uh, potential hull breach. So we're going to actually go for the uh, big pirate guy. He evaded that. Fuck. I agree. And flicks engines down, huh? Actually, we're going to try to do this. So we got the, um... We got the sabotaged on him. So that's cool. Evaded again. Yeah, fudge. Let's see if I can get their engines down so they won't evade. Yeah, minus 10 speed, so that should probably be easier for them to hit. I assume that's how it works, so come on. There you go, there's there's some damage. And um We're just gonna hit him with the big hit. Barely a scratch, yep, good stuff, good stuff. We are actually going to use the cauterize so I can save dark matter repairing that later. Basically, I don't wanna repair it later, so I'm gonna repair it in combat. Because the dark matter is money. I don't want to spend the dark matter. Interesting that he has a limited number of them. I'm curious uh, how you get more of those. And then we're just going to nuke this little guy because he's weak. Nice evade, nice evade. And then we're just going just gonna to keep hitting him. Should be a pretty easy kill. stuff. Yeah! Now, uh, return home. I've been promoted. I can advance my training now. What would you like me to focus on? Level up. Okay, so... Which one do I want? They're all single target attacks. The only one that exploits anything is blinded, and I don't have anything that inflicts blinded. <laughs> Sorry, wow. Hiccups are really, really brutal. Target's hull. Um. Um. Inflicts ruptured sounds cool. And then we got. Oh, he wants. They want me to kill that. Oh, well, I'm going to test out returning to base. New elite crew. Crewman Lee plus one evasion. Okay. Crewman Shaw plus three aim. Cool. I've been promoted. I can advance my training now. Oh, key. cool. Cool, cool, cool. Group attack exploits weakened. I think I'm going to go for that. That sounds neat. Uh, back to base. And then ship management. I cost 16. Okay. Let's go to Starbase really quick. That's ship construction. That's station bridge equipped with the powerful... yeah. Um, what is this? That's our tech. We still need more materials and more dark matter. 
So I did get the 50 materials for this, so we just have to sort of go out and do more. How many things does... how much fuel? 21. Okay, so we do have Cauterize Hole again. I'm not sure if it's from going out of the fight, or if it's from returning back to the base. I actually don't know. Damage resistance versus Lar is uh, 3%. Neat. Continue. Don't be afraid. Oh, right. Start combat. So, our new thing is, um, fire at will. So, self-vulnerable 70%. Fire at will inflicts hull breach. So I'm gonna try it just to check it out. I mean, it looks intense, but we are now, um, vulnerable, which I can't actually mouse over. Exploits weapon disruption? That hits all of them. One of them, uh, evaded. The ship is vulnerable and takes an additional 10% damage. Okay, so he is currently hull breached. Do I have anything that affects that? No. So we're just gonna harass him. Commendations to the gunnery crew. He evaded, good stuff. He got hit, ouch. So we're going to try to mess with their, um... Sensors again. This inflicts hull breach, but nothing exploits hull breach, okay. Wait. This inflicts hull breach. Which he has, and this exploits it, so we are going to use that. Sorry, there's a lot of status effects that I'm trying to pay attention to. Uh, and we're just gonna hit him. Yeah, great stuff, great stuff. Good evade. And hit, um... We are gonna try to mess with their sensors. Nice. 30% aim down. And we're just gonna hit him. Now remember, vulnerability, so... That was good. That's the combo. And he's still evading, nice. Now, I'm actually gonna repair him. Because he took a lot of damage. And... We're gonna do some hurt. Oh wait, I should have used the other one, because he has sensors offline. But he does have whole breach. Which I can, um... Work with. As well as him still having sensors offline, so I can work with that also. I think... Yeah, we're just gonna hit him. Cool. 72 Dark Matter. We did it. Now, um, if I remember right, these guys were moving. So we're gonna return home and see what they're doing. Sir, a Corzin delegate has arrived. I'll put them through now. Greetings from Onir and the Corzin consensus. We feel truly blessed to again feel the presence of our Federation friend. Oh, unfortunately, Terrans are far too common from Halcyon sector, but they are mostly pirates. An altogether low form of life and thought, I'm sure you'll agree. Now I'm sure you're wondering why it took us so long to come visit you. We hope we didn't keep you waiting too long. Actually, you're one of the last one of the local races to arrive? I'm not sure what you mean. Of course we knew you were here, but we felt that our infallible guidance... We would be better served after you had some time to study the station all your own. You knew we were here all along, really? Oh, of course. We've been watching you all the way from Onir. For all these long standard Federation solar increments. But we were always ready to strike any time if you needed our help. But of course you didn't. Such an intelligent, resourceful people. We're Well, we're glad you're here now. I'd rather not insult them. Speaking of time, our delegation must be off. 
The Collective must be promptly warned of a terrible, terrible mistake it is about to make. I do apologize, but extrasensory knowledge is a heavy, heavy burden. Please do come by Onir, the desert air is deliciously dry this season. Sounds great, sounds awesome. So they are over there. Onir. So we've got a little- oh, there's like factions that I have to be- play nice with. Cool. And we're going to go into ship management. Because this guy is actually really hurt. But I might be able to weasel my way around that. But I think I'm going to save that for the next part. My name is Nigurk, this is Halcyon6, and thank you for watching.